G here with another sew along as part of my Mimi G for Michael Levine collaboration. Today we're going to be working on a fancy dress for the holiday season using McCall pattern 7047. We're going to be making the red dress. Now this pattern comes in pieces so that you can make any design that you see here. So I'm just going to go over the pieces that you need to make the exact dress that I'm making in this tutorial. Now if you're new to sewing or you need a refresher course, make sure to watch the Sewing Basics video linked in the description box below to help you get started on how to cut your pattern, place your pattern on your fabric, cut out your fabric, read the information that is on your pattern, and then come back here and follow along with me. You're going to need to have cut out pattern piece number 7, which is the sleeve, pattern piece 10 and 11, which is the front and back peplum, you're going to cut out pattern piece one and two, and you're going to cut this out of fabric four times because we're going to be using the same fabric as our lining fabric. And then you're going to cut out pattern piece number eight and nine, the long dress version. I'm going to be using an ITY knit, and I will, of course, link to all my fabric suggestions in the blog post, which is also linked in the description box below. I have cut out all of my pieces out of fabric, and we're ready to start sewing. Okay, I want you to grab one front um, bodice and one back bodice and we're going to lay them right sides facing so the right side of the fabric is facing each other and we're going to pin at the shoulder and along the sides so align your shoulders pin pin your other shoulder align your notches and then pin along your side seams so just Match your notches to make sure that you're where you're supposed to be. And put a pin. And you can pin at the bottom as well. And we're going to sew across our shoulders and then we're going to sew across or down the uh, side seams. I'm using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew my entire dress using a very narrow zigzag stitch so that I get some stretch and I'm using a Jersey ballpoint needle. I'm using a different color stitch so you can see it, a different color thread so you can see it, but you should use a color that coordinates with your fabric. And then go ahead and sew down your side seam. You're going to sew the other side seam and your other shoulder the same exact way. Then you're going to grab the lining front and back bodice and you're going to sew the shoulders and the side seams exactly like we did with this one and then we'll join them together. Okay, once you have both your lining bodice done and your fa uh, fashion fabric one done, although we're using the same fabric, um, turn one right side out and leave one wrong side out and you're going to slip the right side out inside of the wrong side out. <laughs> And you're going to align your neckline. And I want you to pin at your shoulders. Make sure that your seams are laying flat. Pin. And then pin your other shoulder too. So the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. And then if you want, you can pin along the neckline. One in the front and then one in the back. And we're going to sew along our neckline using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, starting at one shoulder. Now you're going to trim your seam allowance down to a quarter inch, and then you're going to turn this right side out. Okay, now we're going to do some understitching. So I have my bodice turned right side out, but I'm going to do some understitching on my lining side. So I'm just going to pull this out and I'm going to sew around my neckline just on my lining side. And I'm going to make sure that my seam allowance is facing my lining. So you can feel it on the underside and just make sure it's facing towards your lining where you're sewing. And you're going to sew close to your seam line. This is so that your lining doesn't roll to the outside when you're wearing it. Pull your shirt back to the inside and then just give this neckline a press 
and you're going to baste this together. So you're gonna baste your arm's eye together so that we can attach our sleeve. Okay, I went ahead and basted around my sleeve so that um, both the lining and the fabric now become one. And now we're gonna sew our sleeve together. So grab one sleeve and with right sides facing, pin. And sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. your other sleeve the same way. Once you have both your sleeves sewn together, uh, we're going to attach it to our dress. So with right sides facing, I want you to align your side seam of your bodice to the under seam of your sleeve and pin. And then you're going to match your notches. Then we're going to work from the inside. So I'm just going to reach to the other side. Now I'm looking at my lining. Pin at your shoulder points. You should have a notch for your the top of your shoulder and then align it to the shoulder seam. Match your dots. And because we're working with a knit, we're just going to make a couple of slits into our fabric and we'll ease our sleeve in that way and we'll stretch and sew. Starting under the arm. You're going to attach your other sleeve the same way. Once you've attached both your sleeves, we're going to baste the bottom of our bodice and our lining together using the longest stitch possible that you have on your machine, and then we're going to set this aside. Okay, next grab your front and back uh, skirt, and you're going to place them right sides facing, and you're going to pin along the entire side seam the way I've done here, all the way down. And we're going to start at the bottom. You're going to pin both side seams the same way. And we're going to sew from the bottom up using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You're going to sew the other side seam the same exact way. Once you're done sewing your skirt front to back at the side seam, set it aside and grab your front and back peplum. And with right sides facing, we're going to sew at the sides. Go ahead and align your notches and pin. And do the other side the same way. Okay, I've sewn my peplum together and I'm choosing to leave my peplum with a raw edge. Um, I like the simplicity of it and I honestly don't want to see the silver on the underside of my back peplum which hangs lower than my front peplum. So if you have a steady hand and you cut your peplum out with a straight um, or a clear edge then you can choose to have a raw edge. If not then just do a very um, small rolled edge along the entire hem of your peplum. That's up to you. Okay, once you have it sewn together at the sides, we're going to slip it over the top of our skirt. And you're gonna make sure that you are matching the front of your skirt to the front of your peplum. So you should have one single notch for the front of your skirt and for the front of your peplum, and then two in the back. So I would have you pin at the sides first, and then pin at your notches and the wrong side of your peplum is facing the right side of your skirt. Once we attach this, we'll attach our bodice. You can also choose not to have the peplum at all and skip this part. Okay, now you're just gonna baste it. Now we can attach our skirt to our bodice. Okay, I have my bodice turned wrong side out, so the right side is on the inside, and I have my skirt right side out, and I'm literally just going to slip this inside of my bodice so that the right sides are facing the right side of my bodice to the right side of my skirt, and I want to make sure that the front is aligned with the front of the skirt, 
So check for your for those notches. You should have a double notch on your skirt and a double notch on your bodice. And then pin. Pin at your side seams. And then using your narrow zigzag stitch, we're just going to sew through all layers. Attaching our bodice to our skirt. Starting at one side seam. Go slow, make sure you don't have any puckers or folds. Now that our bodice is attached to our skirt, we can go ahead and create the casing for the elastic. Okay, we're gonna create the casing for our dress, so we're going to be sewing just on our seam allowance. We're going to stitch this together, and then we're going to sift our elastic through the seam allowance. So we're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge, all the way around, leaving a small opening. Okay, I've cut my elastic. Um, I measured my waist and then um, I minus an inch instead of adding an inch because I want it to be nice and, and fitted at my waist. And I'm using a safety pin which I'm going to now put through my opening and we're going to sift it all the way through till it comes out on the other end through that casing that we've created. Make sure that you don't lose the tail end of one side. And continue until your safety pin comes out of the opening and then we'll stitch it closed. Okay, now you're going to overlap your elastic and you're going to stitch this down. And then just pull until it goes all the way back inside. You can try it on now and see if it fits nicely. If you want to pull it in a little bit more, you can. And then you just want to close up that little hole. I'm going to leave my sleeves and my hem with a raw edge. Um, if you want to make your hem, all you need to do is turn over your hem allowance and then stitch all the way around. That's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this sew along. Until next time, peace.